I'm Dr. Ruth Glancy. I'm a professor of English at Concordia University College of Alberta. Charles Dickens was a great Victorian novelist, British novelist, and is now probably the most famous novelist uh, in the world, I would say. Well, Dickens had a tremendously wide scope and a tremendously strong imagination. He was like Shakespeare. He, his understanding of human nature was very profound and that's why he's appreciated in all countries. You find Dickens read in Japan, France, Germany, all over the world and his, he's being celebrated this year all over the world. And that's why I think really he's, he's, he, he's the only novelist I can think of who has that kind of um, reputation and standing. Well, he came from a, a modest background and the, the famous event in his life was being sent to work in a blacking factory where he felt that he, all of his chances of becoming a, a, a writer or, or whatever um, were ended, uh, but then he did come out of that, of course. Uh, and then he started writing when he was quite a young man and became popular really at a very young age with the Pickwick Papers. And after that, then his, his career was, was established as a writer. He has a great comic vision, like Chaucer. He's, he has a great love of humanity very, very comic, but also very dark. Um, when people think of Dickensian, they think of workhouses, neglected children. He was extremely good on children. He was the first novelist to write about, about children and about childhood and the importance of childhood. He was very influential during his time. He, was, he believed very much in, in charity. He was a, a, a Christian and he took up many philanthropic projects, the Children's Hospital, um, ragged schools for, for neglected children in London. He read uh, his works aloud for charity to raise money. He, had, he did have a big influence on society, not just, not just Dickens but other Victorians as well, bringing to the attention of the public the appalling conditions of so many in England and at that time. One of the things that really annoyed Dickens and others was the complacency of the upper classes and the fact that Britain, they had the Great Exhibition of 1851 and they were the, the most advanced nation on earth and they were very proud of themselves and completely ignoring the fact that in the next street was the most appalling suffering and, and disease. He certainly influenced the celebration of Christmas. He didn't invent Christmas, of course, but, but our celebration of Christmas is, is certainly always includes a Christmas carol. There are, ever since 1843, when it was first published, every Christmas has been celebrated with the Christmas carol as part of it. Um, Roosevelt read the Christmas carol, mentioned it, um, you know, especially in America, actually, a Christmas carol is huge. It, 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 it's played in Edmonton every, every Christmas. Dickensian is used in lots of different ways. I think most people probably associate it with appalling conditions. So if, if somebody says this part of town is positively Dickensian, they mean tenements, narrow streets, poverty, crime, illness, workhouses and so on. Um, that's one meaning, but the other is, but you can also say that, that it's a Dickensian Christmas and that means a party and games and children and nice food and smoking bishop to drink and snow. And, uh, but Dickensian also means exuberant, imaginative, a Dickensian novel, a modern novel that's Dickensian is probably a lot of characters, a lot of plot, a lot, of, and a lot of smaller plots, a long novel, a richness, of, an enthusiasm, an energy is often also Dickensian. 
I think like many people, he's, he's, he's just very different from any other novelist. He's very visual. So when you read Dickens, it just comes to life in front of your eyes. And I don't know any other writer where it's just quite happens quite in that way. So from the first moment I read Dickens, I just this he was different in, in that sense of being so visual and with just such a huge scope and so funny. Dickens is hilariously funny as well as of course being being dark as well. He knows all the dark places, what he called the dark places of the mind, uh, the, the psychic depths. But uh, and he can go from one to the other very, very quickly. Oh, he'd love it. He'd love it because he read for charity himself and for, for education. He read for adult edu to raise money for adult education colleges. He read for the Children's Hospital in London to raise money. Oh, he loved it. He, he always celebrated birthdays, loved birthdays. He would have loved the celebration of his 200th birthday.